and welcome back to my channel, Torathena, where today I'm doing a comic review. Shocker. And today we are reviewing The Beef by Image Comics? Image Comics. This was written by Richard Starkins and Tyler Shaneline and drawn by Shaky Kane, which is a fantastic name. So what is this comic about? The creator of Elephant Men and the creator of Amen joins forces with Tyler Shaneline, who did Liberty Justice, to bring you the story of Meat Men. Chuck in a mild-mannered meat factory worker who was a little in love with a strawberry picker named Mary Lynn. But everything changes when Mary Lynn falls victim to the Vodino brothers. Okay, first off, let's talk about the cover. I really like the cover. It's bold, it's unique, it stands out, it's simple, it's enticing. It's everything I want a comic to be. I play the game that I judge a comic by the cover and I predicted I would love this comic from the cover. I wasn't 100% correct. My first impression was actually that I hated this comic, like hated it. The art is so heavy. It's just so bold, but in a bad way. I just, I hated the colors. They were so intrusive and aggressive. I just didn't like the look of it. However, the writing wasn't actually all that bad. The narrative is actually quite organic. It flows very well. I think the only thing that might distract from that is the jarring appearance of the art and colour, but the conversation and flow and narrative actually did flow pretty well. The only time it got too much for me was the ending, but I think that's just because I'm judging it too harshly from first impressions. Like, the ending is not good, but it's cheesy not good. It's in a comic not, not good kind of thing. A part of me, when I was reading the story, liked how ugly the art was. I liked how ugly the characters were because it really matched how ugly they were in nature and personality. However, Mary Lynn looks like she was drawn by a 12 year old pubescent boy just learning to draw. And what he's gone is, I can draw boobs? I've got to do the biggest boobs. And it's, it's just, it's really out of proportion. It's really bad. It's, it's not good. It's not good. The comic actually made me feel sick though. Certain things that were said or done within this comic actually unsettled me, made me feel uneasy, especially when it's showing when they're children. And that's good. That's good writing. Not many comics actually make me feel anything. I can enjoy them, but I don't feel invested or I don't feel connected or I don't feel empathetic. The fact that they could do that, it's good. The only thing I didn't like is the narration used to transition from where the story is now to where it's obviously going to go in the future. There is like this third party narrator kind of talking about meat and the beef and the abattoir and I, I don't want to spoil anything for you if you read it but I found that narration leading up to certain events at the end of the comic a mixture of just bad and pretentious or pretentious trying too hard like it just didn't work for me I know what they were trying to do but it didn't come off that way and, but once again I don't know if that's because it was written badly or if it was because the art knocked me off my flow or the actual plot knocked me off my flow I, I, I just it didn't work something didn't work I'll be honest I have no interest in reading this comic anymore as much as I actually did feel for the characters and I actually did feel stuff from the writing, the art is something I can't get past. I just can't. And I think that's more personal preference because there is, I do see a reason behind the art. Like the people are ugly because the, their personality is ugly, but there are just certain things. It's just so heavy. It's just so aggressive. It's just, it reminds me of the colors used in like my childhood children's books. And it's all very, bright and bold because it's, it has to, you know, stimulate you. Especially for that story that wasn't necessary, it's not needed. The use of colour was done too bold, too basic, too badly. And that's, yeah, that's, that, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm gonna leave it at that. Have you read this comic before? What did you think of it? Have you think differently to me? Have I sold the comic to you or have I not sold the comic to you? Either way, comment below. I love talking about comics. That's why I do these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps out the channel. And you can support us on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. There's lots of rewards available. You can check that out below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.